Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new, my name's Julie um, and I do videos about fashion and makeup, favourites, hauls, try-ons, all that good stuff, lots of eclectic stuff on this channel. So if you just found me, just clicked on this video for the first time, I've got lots of videos you can go back and watch. Um, <clears throat> but this is just a favourites video. Um, my recent favourites, I'm not going to give it a specific time frame, but things that I have tried and tested and I'm really enjoying and I reach for most days. So there's a bit of a mix. I've got a bit of a list here. I don't normally wear glasses all the time, I usually have my contact lenses, but I've got a little bit of a problem with this eye at the moment. It keeps running, so I thought glasses would be better today. So excuse if there's any reflection. I've tried to sit somewhere in the lounge I thought I'd have a change today. I thought I'd sit in a different spot. So I'm sat in a different corner. So um, hopefully you can see me okay. I'm trying to do this with just the one lamp on because it's, you know, January, sort of nearly midday and, and the days are just dark, although it's not too bad today. It doesn't look too bad at all. So as I said, I'm going to be looking down because I've got my favourites written down here and I've got some products to show you. I've got some cosmetics. I've got a book. Um, a diary, um, I've got a TV show, some food items that I'm enjoying at the moment, so a real eclectic mix. So without further ado, let's get on. Um, so, okay, the first thing to show you is this Beauty Pie Foundation. Um, this is the Everyday Great Skin Foundation and my colour is 100 Ivory. Um, it's a glass bottle. Um, the only thing is, the only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't come with a lid. So it's a pump and you just twist it to stop anything coming out and twist it when you're going to use it, which is fine. But this does get a bit messy and I've had a couple of times I had to wipe the nozzle. But the product itself, I really, really enjoy. I'm not wearing it today. I've just got a minimal makeup on today. I'm wearing the Burn Minerals Complexion Rescue um, Tinted Moisturiser. But I have been reaching for this every day. I've had foundation on. This is the one I've been reaching for. It's very easy to apply, very lightweight, gives me a tiny little bit of a glow, but not much. Um, it's not too matte, it some, sits somewhere in between. It's very buildable, but it's not heavy or cakey on the skin. I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, and I will definitely be purchasing another one of these from Beauty Pie. I've rejoined my membership just before Christmas. They sent a special offer and I, I rejoined. Um, and yeah, I'm going to use this. Um, I'm going to get it again because it's been really great um, and people have commented on my skin saying oh your skin looks really good what are you wearing so that doesn't happen very often so I will definitely be a repurchase for me and while we're talking about uh, makeup products there's another beauty pie product that I just don't think I could be without now and this you've heard me mention it before this is the super luminous under eye genius corrector in light medium um, just a little pot as you can see, I'm down to pan on this one. There's quite a bit left in there. And I've got a backup standing waiting to be used. Um, I didn't mention the price on this one. I think it was around the £10 mark, which I don't think is too bad for a really, really good foundation. I think this one's 12, uh, but it lasts for ages. I've had this little pot a good, I want to say 12 months. Um, you just need a little bit and I use it as a colour corrector under my eyes. It really takes away the purple dark shadows that I always have um, and it's dead easy to use with your fingers. I'm surprised that this has made it to a favourites because when I very first got it back last beginning of the year, I um I didn't I didn't like it. I didn't get along with it. I tried with a brush to use it under my eyes and I kept thinking, I'd seen people raving about it and I was thinking, what's all the fuss about? I just don't understand. But what it is, it needs warming up on your fingers. If you get it on your finger and then apply it, it makes such a difference. Um, so yeah, I would say if you get it, try it with um, your fingers rather than a brush. But yeah, a really, really great product. Does exactly what I need it to do. Um, easy to travel with because it's only a little tub. Um, it'll be coming away with me in March, as will the foundation. Um, but yeah, both of those Beauty Pie products I really, really enjoy. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a tickly throat. I've not come down with anything. Next up, um, you saw me haul this just before Christmas. Um, well, I've got a couple of these and I've been back since and got a different one. So this is the Superdrug Moisturising Lip Balm. This is the Shea Butter one. Um, I've also got the Rose one as well, which is nice. 
but I think this one is my favourite. They're one ninety nine, um, and they just my lips were really really sore before Christmas, and they've just really moisturised them. I have one at the side of my bed. I've got one in my handbag, um, and yeah, as soon as I feel sort of slightly dry on my lips, this is the one that I would would go for. So yeah, it's, so it's a super drug moisturising lip balm shea butter. So just a simple product, but works really well for me so i can highly recommend that it's definitely one of my favorites at the moment um <clears throat> next up um is this body shop coconut um hand balm i wish they sold this in a big tube because i would buy it um this is the nicest hand lotion hand cream they call it a hand balm that i've ever used out of any out of super expensive down to lower end um, I think these are seven pound. These little tubes from the body shop. They were last time I bought them. I think I bought three last time. So I've got one in my handbag that's almost done, and this is my last one. Uh, so I will replace it. Um, they're just big enough to fit in your handbag. Um, I wish I could buy a big one so I have at the side of my bed, but for handbag size, these are perfect. They make me think of summer, um, although I use them all year round. They make me think of Australia because of the coconutty smell uh, and they just absorb so nicely into the skin yeah they smell amazing i just love the smell of them um, and they sink in and they're gone i don't like hand creams that sit on your hands and make your hands feel greasy i've, I've been in positions before where i've had to go and wash my hands before i could do something else which is sort of defeating the object so yeah i can highly recommend the body shop coconut hand cream if you've not tried it give it a try. I tried other ones as well. I think I've had the hemp one, but for me, that's the, that's the best one. It's, it's the scent. I love coconut. So that's my favorite. Okay. On to something different. Um, I wanted to just mention these earrings. Now, those of you who've been watching me since before Christmas will know that Dave bought me these, my husband. Um, I think it was around November time, just cause he knew I needed some big hoops. I like a big hoop earring, um, but I have to be careful because I have very sensitive ears and um, I have to either wear silver or gold. If I wear anything else, I get an infection. But these are silver, sterling silver and gold plated and these have been brilliant. They were really reasonable. I think they were around the £20 mark from Amazon. If they're still available, anything that's available, I will link it below for you. But yeah, they, these are just such a nice easy to put in, easy to take out, just a great everyday hoop. And as I said, I like a bigger hoop. I think they have smaller sizes as well, so you don't have to go this big. You can go for a smaller one if you prefer a smaller one. But yeah, these have been lovely. I've, I can see me having them for a long time. They're really, really good. I don't wear them in the shower. Um, I tend to take all my jewellery off. Other than my wedding rings, my jewellery is taken off at night. So I don't get them wet. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but yes, uh, I really, really like these. So they were a good buy. Okay, next, this is a bit of a strange one, but I had to mention it because it's it's a craving at the moment. So um, as you, as those of you who watch me will know, um, I went vegan about October last year. October, yeah, I think I'm on my fourth month. Um, it's worked a treat for me. There's no going back. I will be vegan forever. Um, and also I am gluten-free and I have been for several years because, <clears throat> excuse me, gluten affects my gut and my tummy, it causes all kinds of issues. And so, yeah, gluten is um, difficult. So being a vegan and being gluten-free, I mentioned it before Christmas, is quite difficult, but I am working on getting around it and um, not, not buying a lot of processed products because quite often the vegan processed products have wheat in so I have to be really careful about that but I do a lot of cooking from scratch whether or not so it's not a big deal but a bit of a craving at the moment is these char crisp breads which I've, I've eaten for years because they're gluten free but they're also vegan friendly as well they're like um like a, a rice flour crisp bread they're nice and light, they're really low in calories, which is not the reason I eat them, but they are 27 calories each. Um, and most lunch times I will have these with some plant-based 
um, spread at the minute. I've got the Philadelphia one. I've had the Vio Life recently as well. I think that was garlic and herb. That was really nice as well. But these with some plant-based spread on. And then on the top of that, um, these pink pickles from Asda. Uh, no, from Aldi. They are so tasty. I've gone pickle mad at the moment. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will have um, a decent spread of the plant-based cream cheese whichever one I'm using and then some of these on top of the crackers and that's my go-to craving at the moment I've been having them for my lunch um, but even if I fancy a snack in the afternoon you just have a couple with with a cup of tea and they're um, really really tasty I do like the sharp products um, the gluten-free sharp products I don't buy many of the breads just because it's just not very nice. The only bread I really, really enjoy is one we buy from our local bake bakery, which is made from a sourdough starter, and I seem to be fine with that. Um, but really, I don't eat a lot of bread because it's difficult to find something that's gluten-free and anything that really suits my tummy situation. So, yeah, but I do enjoy the crackers, and I enjoy that crunch. That's what I think that's what you miss when you're gluten-free. You can't have um, breadcrumbs on things or batter on things unless it's gluten free. And so you lose out on that, you know, that crunchy taste. So, yeah, um, I am enjoying that at the moment. OK, what else did I have on my list? Um, next up is this book I'm reading at the moment. And it's Stuart McBride, The Dead of Winter. This is um, great. Stuart McBride is one of my favourite authors. Um, I don't know whether you've read any of Stuart McBride's books. They are very thrillery. Um, they can be quite gruesome. Um, there's a quite a long series of books uh, with a detective called Logan McRae, which I've really enjoyed. But this is a standalone novel. Now, I saw this in Amazon recently, and I think it was £20 for the hardback Um book which I didn't want to pay really just before Christmas but we popped into a charity shop uh, in between Christmas and New Year and I picked up this um, book for a pound which was amazing so I will read it then I'll pass it on to my husband He's, he doesn't really read the same books as me he might not read it but my mum and dad certainly will so yeah it's a standalone one this I'll just read you the premise on it it says all detective constable Edward Reeke had to do was pick up a dying prisoner from HMP Grampian and deliver him somewhere to live out his last few months in peace from the outside Glenfarrock looks like a quaint sleepy snow dusted village nestled deep in the heart of the Cairngorms National Park. Well, things aren't what they seem. The place is thick with security and there's a strict nine o'clock curfew because Glenfarrick is the final sanctuary for people who've served their sentences but can't be safely released into the general population. Edward's new boss, DI Vic Victoria Montgomery Porter, insists they head back to Aberdeen before the approaching blizzards shut down everything. But when an ex-cop turned gangster is discovered tortured to death in his bungalow, somebody needs to take charge. I bought it because I love Stuart McBride. Um, I knew it was a new book and I hadn't read it, but I also love a wintry, snowy um, setting. I always enjoy that. Um, so, and the tagline says, who do you trust when everyone's guilty? So I think that might be quite a, quite a good read. So I'm about a quarter of the way into it. It's a bit of a slow start, but I think it's going to get really good. So if you've not discovered Stuart McBride, definitely in order to look at if you If you enjoy a thriller, um, murder and mayhem then he's a really good writer um, I think he lives in Scotland actually um, and I think when he writes his books they're generally based in Scotland and you can really tell he knows where he's writing about which I think is quite good in books I generally enjoy that so yes yeah, Stuart McBride The Dead of Winter I will link it below for you okay back to my list what else did I have on my list um, I wanted to mention my new diary. You saw me pick this up in November and I've been using this lots. It's a really straightforward diary. My one last year was all singing and dancing um, and I really didn't use the stickers or the little pockets. Or I, I think I'm quite a straightforward person and I just like a diary that I can write what I need to do. So appointments in this bit, 
This is a to-do list for the day, which I'm really enjoying and I've been using. And then any special events and occasions you can keep at the bottom there. I like the fact that it's a page for each day. It gives me plenty of room to write things in. This is today's. And I've got a little on-the-go to-do list, which I'm working my way through. And yeah, I'm just finding it really, really good to use. I think it was from Card Factory and it was £5. Um, and it works perfectly for me. I've done, do, do you guys use online calendars? I've thought about that in the past, but I do like a pen and paper and I like to jot things down. So I don't know whether that would work for me. Plus it means more looking at a screen and I spend enough time looking at screens. I do like a pen and paper diary. So I'm enjoying that at the moment. Next up is an app. Um, I'm going to put some uh, photographs in to show you. Um, I got this last year at the beginning of the year and it's called the Recipe Keeper. Previous to that, I did have a, a recipe book that I occasionally used. However, I don't know, remembering to go and find a recipe book and then write down, which takes quite a while, all the ingredients and the instructions, just didn't work for me. So I was looking for something where I could just, because quite often I'll look for a recipe online, I guess we all do. Um, and you can literally import the recipes into um, the app. So you find, doesn't matter where it's from, a blog or a website or wherever, you literally type the name of the recipe and the app finds it for you and will save it in categories. So breakfast, main meal, lunches, um, snacks, and you just put it in there. So I'll pop some pictures on the screen to show you, but I think I paid $24.99 a year for this. But for me, it's really worth it. I've just had a big clear out because obviously I became vegan quite recently. And so I wanted to remove all the meat recipes from there, but you can also um, do a shopping list on there. You can plan your meals. It's really, really quite useful. And I've used it, I use it, if not every day, every other day to sort of look at recipes. <clears throat> excuse me so i can highly recommend it i don't pay for any other apps so you can tell it's a good one the fact that i pay for it um, and i find it really really useful pop it as i said i'll pop it on the screen you can have you can try it out i think you can have so many recipes and when you get to it might be 20 recipes then you need to pay to continue using the app so um for me it's worth it but yeah as I said, it's called the Recipe Keeper. It's the um, app picture is a little bowl with a whisk in. Um, and I use it all the time. So a really good, useful app that I use a lot. Um, I've got a strange favourite coming up next. And that is this room that I'm sitting in. We decorated just before Christmas. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it in the um, description box below. This room, I was really not worried about it before. Um, I didn't sit in it often. It just felt cold and unloved and not, not very comfortable. But since we changed the furniture and decorated and warmed everything up, I've really, really enjoyed it. Um, as I said, I did video the process of changing this room and redecorating. Um, I'll link the video so you can go and have a look at that. But yeah, I'm just loving how it feels. I use it every night now. We're sitting here to watch TV rather than going upstairs. And yeah, it's just amazing what a bit of pay, paint and paper can do um, to a room. So yeah, if you've not seen that video, pop along and have a look and see what we've done to the lounge. But it's a much more comfortable, usable space now. So, um, and it, it didn't cost a lot of money to do it. So yeah, have a look at that video if you get a minute. I had one more thing for you. So. We have recently been watching a really good TV series and it's called Fool Me, let me get, get this right. It's called Fool Me Once and it's on Netflix. It's really very good. Uh, it's a Harlan Coburn book that's like turned into a drama and it, the stars in there are Michelle Keegan, uh, Richard Armitage and uh, Adil Akhtar, Emma J. Scarlett, You'll know him if you when you see him. I didn't know who he was originally, but once I saw him, I've seen him in lots of other things. And Joanna Lumley plays um, the posh lady in the manor. Um, starts off with um, Michelle Keegan's the main female lead, and it starts off with her at her husband's funeral, and he's been murdered. Um, and then the story goes on from there. There's lots of, tw of twists and turns. Um, and we really, really both enjoyed it. Um, 
we we binge watched it we stayed up late and because we wanted to see what happened at the end so i won't give any spoilers because you might not have seen it but if you haven't it's on netflix it's definitely worth a watch i think there's about eight episodes something like that really good joanna lumley is brilliant in it as you would expect uh, michelle keegan's great in it richard armitage all the characters are really interesting i particularly liked um a deal actor's character he plays the detective in it that was a really interesting storyline that's kind of he's investigating the murder but he's, he's also got his own story as well i just thought it was very very well done best thing i've seen for ages so if you've not seen that yet definitely worth a watch so that's it that's my um favorites for this last month i guess or and before um just thought i'd share those with you let me know if you've got any monthly favourites, anything that you're loving at the moment, any books. I'm always looking for interesting books to read, TV programmes, any makeup items that you can't manage without. Um, yeah, leave me a comment. I love to read your comments. I love um, the fact that lots of you do comment and I always try and reply. And if I, I read every comment. If I don't reply, I will leave you a little heart to show you that I have read your comment. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.